Hi and welcome to Themico. In this final video related to the structural analysis topic, we are going through the definition of frames and machines. During the video, we will also learn how to analyze these kinds of structures. Let's get started. So what kind of structures are we usually referring to when we are speaking of frames and machines? Commonly speaking, frames and machines are structures which are composed of multiple members of which at least one is a multi-force member that is subjected to more than two forces. These members are usually connected together by pin joints, welding, screws, etc. Okay, now that we know what kind of structures frames and machines are, you may be wondering what the difference between these two is then. The difference is that frames are usually stationary structures which are carrying external loads whereas machines are composed of moving components which are designed to transmit forces and also to change how these forces are affecting its surroundings. If we would want to analyze these kinds of structures, we could do it by determining the forces applied at the joints and supports in each member by using the equations of equilibrium which we have established during the course. But doing so, we have to assume that the investigated frame or machine is properly constrained and there is no redundancy in the system. By analyzing the acting forces in each member of the frame or machine, we can then design what kind of supports must be used for the member the size of the member and the strength of the connections. Depending on what we want to analyze from the structure, this may also require us to have some knowledge about the theory of mechanics of materials which you will learn about in a related course in possible future studies. Let's now dive into more details about what kind of steps we should follow when we are determining the applied external forces and support forces in each member of the investigated frame or machine. Like in most problems related to mechanics, especially in the statics field, the first thing that we should do is draw the free body diagram of the structure under investigation. Most often, however, we need to first disassemble the structure into separate parts, which are analyzed more suitably than directly analyzing the whole structure. After disassembling has been done, we can draw the free body diagram of the separate parts and choose which part to investigate first. We can try to make this choice based on which method gives us a more direct solution. Note that if the structure has a connection point in which group of members are connected to each other, then the affecting forces at that point are internal forces which are not marked onto the free body diagram of the system. These must, however, be taken into account in the member's free body diagram because in this case the forces are external. Also, if we would like to draw the free body diagram of parts which are in contact, we should draw the common forces with the same magnitude but opposite direction onto the mentioned diagrams. This is based on Newton's third law. We should also keep in mind that the frame or machine may consist of trusses which act, if you still remember, as two force members which have equal but opposite collinear forces acting at their ends. After we have drawn the free body diagram of the investigated system or the separated parts, then we can apply the equations of equilibrium in order to obtain the solution. Usually, we perform the analysis in two dimensions, in which case there are three equations of equilibrium that we can use for solving the external and support forces in each member. In case of analyzing truss components of frames or of machines, we can also use the same solving methods that we learned during the earlier videos, which were related to trusses. If by any chance your external or support force solution would have a negative magnitude, then this just means that the direction of that force was determined wrongly in the free body diagram and its direction is actually reversed. There you have it. Now you know how to analyze frames and machines in order to find the acting forces in each member of the investigated structure. Hopefully, after watching this video, you know the definition of the structure which could be either a frame or a machine. You also know how the acting external forces and support forces can be determined in each member of the frame or machine in order to design the members of the investigated system correctly. This video also concludes the first course of mechanics, during which time you have hopefully learned the basics of mechanics and the important concepts related to the field of statics. In the following courses of mechanics, we will dive into the world of dynamics in which we are going to learn interesting concepts and phenomena related to moving objects. Hopefully, you will continue on to these courses. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.